I told you I woke up in a therapist's office. Just reliving the long haul weight. I remember what happened before that, too. Um, I, uh, I was in this, in this, uh, lobotomy ward, like, kind of, okay, let's start with, um, the day I met the Joker. The day I met the Joker, I, uh, was, I walked into an empty day room in a psych ward, and, um, yeah, found him. Hey, you got 50 Sorry, I don't. I don't know what she asked for, but I'm sorry, I don't. <laughs> um, so I was I was in the, the day room and I just had a vision of Heath Ledger's Joker. I call him the Scars of the Architect, personal reasons behind that. But you might as well know that there are about seven Jokers, like, oh, you saw that coming. There are three Dent Brothers around here, by the way. There's Richard Francis and, well, our son, Harlan. Like, okay, so they used to say I had an evil arm. My left arm just just sinned. That's all I really know is that it sinned, <laughs> and, uh, and so and so it was in a half spray jacket. It's what I was in for the longest time. It's what I still go into once in a while. But obviously I'm in a nice shirt now, and, and they're asking to talk to Poison Ivy. So why would I say no? Nice and with arm and leg on. By the way, that was like. Wow. Oh. So, so I met the Joker, and, uh, and, 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 uh, and he said, I'm sorry, Harvey, the hospital goes on forever. <laughs> you know, that's, that's how it feels sometimes. So I was in my parents' house this next night, just pretend the night passed. My God, it could have been three years. So the next night, I, um, I, uh, I, I saw her, uh, uh, uh a, a forest gnome, a forest gnome ventured into our house, <laughs> and and, <laughs> and, uh, and and she she turned on a light in a spare bedroom, and uh, Francis went in there. Like I'm sometimes Francis, but sometimes Francis is so inscrutable to me. Uh, so this is one of those inscrutable days, probably because my son was awake, and uh, we could be we two halfwits make a brother around here when it comes to the brother's death. Um, so, <laughs> so I, uh, I went into the bedroom and I sat down by the window and I was hearing voices, obviously. I often deny that, but I do hear voices. Like, no, I don't. It's how instantly I'll deny that. But anyway, the nurse said, is how it is to me, like, the real nurse, like, okay, here's the qualification. If I act like my hallucinations aren't real, they don't go away. But if I act like um, I'm lucid dreaming and, like, there are still laws and rules, like, I've become known as a man who obeys laws and rules. So anyway, you know, the forest gnome, you and the forest gnome know that I was in the center entrance colonial in, in Westchester Fieldstonville, the suburb of all suburbs. Um, but what happened was, um, uh, the nurse said, be careful with that one. And, uh, and Francis just said, oh, piss off. This is just Harvey. And they knew me because they had notebooks of like, just a few scenes out of the comic pages that never got printed. Like, here's one. Okay. So at the end of the hall is the next like memory cue and the hospital is still going on forever when it comes to me and the Joker. But I'll tell you a story in the next video about like the next Joker I met. <laughs> so that was when I ran away to Wisconsin in case my memory is as slippery as ooze and is a uh, piercing as moonlight. <laughs> well, thank you, Fifi. You're welcome, Harvey. Um, so at the end of the hall is all I could really remember. Like, oh no, some lobotomy patient is pulling wires into my brain. Well, thank you, Randall Patrick from Murphy. Like, do your job. I, at the end of the hall, I had, the kid said it was a face that was purple and green at the same time. Like, that does, does, doesn't that just solve the mystery? <laughs> and he said, I threw a flaming book at the orderly who had followed us home from the psych ward. That goes on forever. Like, thank you, Scars. I'll forget you in a minute. 
like, have you heard that? Black people are saying, like, oh, yeah, I went to the DMV and it took a minute. <laughs> a minute. It's like, how, like, what's the longest, the longest wait, the longest wait is waiting for a single minute to pass. So I was in the psych ward for a minute, and, uh, and when they let me out, they, uh, they put me with, with, with a therapist, and the kids were like, okay, so the kids are, uh, we just called him Harvey Jr. for a while, and, uh, and Nora and Francis is 25, but he acts like an absolute child at times, so they're all, like, sitting, like, oh, like, like, I don't need to justify that. Well, I will, anyway. He, he feeds, he feeds Oreos to, like, his invisible friends, okay? So, all right, so... <laughs> Ah, brave day, darkest night. No evil shall escape my light. Um, so, oh well. Like, go on, set off the alarm. Thank you, Francis. You're the only adult here. Thanks for the Oreo, Francis. I'm only your invisible friend. Um, so, oh, they they put me in with this therapist, and um, and then I ate cantaloupe with Michael Keaton, and um, then I got transferred to uh, an outpatient treatment center for disturbed young adults, where they injected injected antipsychotics into my ass, and I was having visions that they were still injecting me, like on the daily. So one of the times I just um, Fucking Eric Magneto must have done it, but I grabbed the syringe out of his hand and stuck him in the thigh with it, just to prove that even if it's only a vision of an antipsychotic, it still dopes you down. And I, at least, with Francis and Francis reporting the news, was like, oh yeah, he was retarded for a month, for an entire month on the dot, just like, just like he was absolutely over-medicating us. That's the story so far. I've been over-medicated, and now I'm just taking like an ounce of weed every night for as much as it does to my brain. But it has, you know, it has a prescription name, and it's it's configured in a lab. And oh, so am I. So am I. <laughs>